Yo, what's up guys? It's Zach. Welcome back to the channel. Just have to apologize for my mega sore throat at the minute. It's absolutely killing us. So we're going to keep this one short. I just thought I would show you something that I got reminded of this morning when I was uh, chilling out in Art Gravy's stream there. The Kaldari Prime Pony Club guy was in there. And I thought, wow, let's uh, see if that website's still up. So back in the day, if you Google search that, you would come into like a, a modeler for Eve. And now it seems to be... Well, being taken over by e, uh, EVENT the UK, which uh, the guys run the Alliance Tournament and stuff now, which is pretty cool. I went down to one of the meets a few years ago with a friend and met a cool bunch of good people. So if you come to this uh, website or if you just uh, Google ship designer thing, read this legal notification as well. And this is what you're greeted with. So it's a bit obviously random. It's a lot like obviously EVE it is. Well, it literally is since it's uh, like a nebula from EVE. But what we can do, we can like literally pick any ship and we can even do wrecks now as well. Like Aeon wrecks and all that sort of things. So if we just go, actually we'll do Chasm. Let's do a Phantasm. Um, and we'll hit load. Let's give it a sec. So there's a little Phantasm. And also the colors are a little bit weird, like they're quite contrasty and things. So what I like to do, there's a, just a ton of controls you can do here. So the environment, for example. So right now the nebula is set on a class uh, zero wormhole. But you can do black screen, white screen. So it's really good for like capturing screenshots of ships and then like using a magic wand tool to just cut them and things. But we'll stick domain on for now. Since that's home, load the ship again. So that's a little bit easier to see now. And the even cooler thing, we've actually got control over the sun. Uh, the sun's position and everything. So you can get it like really where you want. So you can see the ship like in depth where you want it to be. So that's, uh, that's really, really cool. And the camera as well. We've got field of view options. Obviously, we can go all the way out and in. And the best thing about this is uh, that the faction is obviously the skin, right? So if we we'll go, we can just pick a random one out of all these and there's absolutely tons of skins. Like CCP are literally sitting on a gold mine with all this stuff and for whatever reason, obviously I know there's law reasons around it. Uh, they just, they won't like give the skins for like all the sort of ships, right? I know some of them don't work properly, but man, look at this for a police skin for the TASM. A bit rougher on the edges like, but... It still obviously looks pretty cool. So the next little bit's the boosters, which you'll probably see in the bottom there. And that's literally like the rocket boosters. So we can switch that to like or more maybe. Not all. Yeah, so they're changing color a little bit there. Tolicon. That's pretty good. So you've got a lot of control how to make your ships look really cool. Let's just cycle through a few more skins there. Some of them don't work. But most of them do. I mean, there's really cool ones. I think the Sauron ones, like the gold, yeah, the gold and black. That looks absolutely epic, that. And another really cool thing about painting the ships, you've actually got control over all the, like, accents and all that sort of stuff. So if we go to the this one, for example. So that's obviously the eyelets and everything. We could put them down to, like, black or something. I'm not like a massive expert on this. I've just been like messing around with it. But yeah, like I'm a big fan of like black and yellow or black and gold, anything like that. So man, that looks, uh, that's pretty sick for a screenshot, right? That's like a, a thumbnail bait screenshot right there. And you can also do the glossy colors. I think that's pretty much the same as the, yeah. So you can actually go like matte black and now that's hard. So there's a lot you can do. And there's also randomized colors as well. And you can select your style. So if you want like random reds. Oh wow, it's like proper gold. And then there's the monochrome, which I like is like black and white. So it's just like you can cycle through just like a ton of stuff. Uh, I think there's like a full random one as well. So that's just like an ultimate. But yeah, you, you get me point on, on things like that. So I made a cool Cinnable earlier when I was messing around. There's a picture of me Discord. Was it that one? But I changed like all the colors to pretty much black it was. I think it was a monochrome. 
Just to get that sort of gold texture on it as well. Let's make all these black. Maybe. I think most of them are already. So we've got the gloss. Yeah, there. I'm going to go well up. Man, there's just so many. So many things there. So that's what gold there. I should copy that so I can... No, we're going into like stupid things here now. Yeah, but we'll have the camo. Oh, that looks actually pretty cool. Like the black and white sort of style. So the gold is that there. Right, so that's the inside bits. Man, you could be literally here on for days. So another really cool thing, <clears throat> which I'll just show you guys. Uh, if we go like Absolution maybe. Just picking one out my head, yeah. That looks pretty nice with the the Sorum. So we can do... Where is it, yeah? We can actually fit the ship as well. So we can go... Um, heavy Assault, Missile Launchers. And you can put like any guns on or whatever. And the even cooler thing is, you can actually press shoot. <laughs> if you right click. Or you can have like an auto fire. Like if you want to get some screenshots or some footage or whatnot. And... The other thing is we can actually fit like um we can fit turrets too to like well miss uh turrets and missiles to any of the ships but you can actually fit like the like the full the full-on like capital stuff as well and obviously you can't really see a lot of the ship when they're on but it's, uh, it's like anyone who's been playing a long time and used to go on CC, you can actually, you used to be able to actually do this on CC with like small ships, put like massive guns on. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, you couldn't undock with them, but it was just a bit of a, just a weird thing. And the skin applies to the guns as well. Uh, state issue, let's have a try. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice. I'm not actually sure how you take the guns off. To be fair, so we'll just put some small ones on. But man, that looks sick. That like black anything black and gold, I'm in. Like, please CCP. You need to give a list of all these skins in game and just get them on, man. I know it's like law issues, but how are you? Let's uh you're sitting on a literal gold mine of skins, yeah. Like I know you you guys are doing your best with the, the icons and everything from the new store, but absolute just sitting on a gold mine here. Um, post processing. Let's have a look at that. Off. Oh, yeah, it's smoothing out a tiny little bit. Auto rotate. Oh, nice. So, there you go. Oh, so you could actually make some animations with this as well. Man, this tool is like really. <laughs> it's quite powerful when you think about it. So, we can change the environment again just to show you guys another. Um, there's actually the. Jove space one, so if you haven't seen any of that before, yeah, let's stop that. And we'll load. Let's load our ship again. So that's the Jove space nebula. No, obviously, the only people that get to see it's the AT guys. But yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty mad how you can do all this sort of stuff. And man, this ship looks absolutely amazing. So yeah, I think. That's a quick little rundown for you guys. I don't want to take it on for too long because my throat is killing me. And when I get over this call, guys, we've got a ton of content all lined up. I've uh, already, like, recorded some stuff since I haven't been, like, making vids. I've got stuff, like, organized, ready just to smash a few vids out and do some shorts and all that sort of things for quick fits. But, yeah, a lot of exciting stuff coming up for 2023. Again, hope everyone had a great new year and everything and uh, have a mess around with this tool. I'll put a link in the description, and I will see you guys in the next one.